Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today we'll be taking a look at Purple Kisses debut song uh, Ponzona? Ponzona? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that. Uh, so this is their actual debut, they've had two pre-debut songs. They've had uh, My Heart Skip a Beat back in I think November time and then pretty recently I think maybe end of January beginning of February we had Can We Talk Again which have been both very different styles and sounds from what I've seen from the teaser images for this song it seems like it's um, they've gone for maybe a darker look I'm not sure if that corresponds to the actual song but the teaser images I've seen they look like they've got more of a darker sort of a dream catcher vibe which that, that works for me that works for me so I'm excited to see these the past two songs the pre-debut songs I've really enjoyed and I've liked the vocals and ranges of the girls so I'm excited to see what their actual style is moving forward with this debut so let's uh, let's get into this so like I said it seems like it's dark you know you've got like some sort of witchy book and some henna tattoos. I doubt they're real. Pretty badass if they are real, so let's go. Cool start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how sparse it is so far. Setting the scene. Oh yeah, okay. I'm liking the music. Like it's not dancey. It's got a nice beat and style and swing. And you get these little bits. It's like different styles mixing together. They're not keeping a constant pace, it's, it's moving around and changing a lot. Yeah, it's, hard, it's not hard to keep up with, it moves around a lot. Oh, okay, alright then. Like Billy Eilish vibes there. Like that music in the background. Well, they're not hiding away from the darker aspects. We're gonna get. Feels like we're gonna get like a end credit scene. No, no. Okay, 
Okay, okay, okay. So I was I was right in, in my thoughts that it's uh, the darker themes. It's got flavours of the, the video, like the aspects of it. It's got flavours of like, oh my god, and like early Dreamcatcher vibes with like the witchiness and the things. And even like your uh, your uh, G friend Apple, where the where they turn into the devils towards well, not devils, witches, I guess. Towards the end, I'm really digging this look. Really, really cool. It's not an overused like a girl crush vibe i'm digging the sort of darker elements it reminds me of something that you might see in like buffy the vampire slayer from back in the day but i really the, the song is really really cool like i thought especially after like my heart skips a beat i thought that that might be the initial sound and style they're going for but this is it's cool like it's got a real nice vibe and sort of chillness to it or even with the little bit of darker elements like if you didn't see the music video and listen to it it doesn't like feel dark as a song really cool and the girls vocals are all just lovely and sweet the rapping like has got a nice attitude and swag to it even though like all the different segments it feels like each girl has her own style of music but the, it doesn't feel disjointed like a, a blackpink song does it feels like it connects and flows really well but this feels like it's a cool it's a cool song it feels like it's more of a a performance song like i can expect really nice intricate stages with like cool dancing choreography and set pieces and things but as like a, a song that pops on the radio like is it going to get you like really like down like oh yeah really pumped up no but it's a really cool sort of chill vibe song similar to like uh g idols why you know that sort of cool chill I don't know, it's just got an aspect to it that draws you in. It's not like it's a background, it could be a background song, but it's just one of those that you listen to it and you're intrigued by it, like, well, what, what is this? You want to know more, so. It's a cool opening for a debut, even though we've heard three different styles from the girls now. It shows they've got a, a lot of range, but if this is what they're going to be moving forward, I'm down, I'm sold. If this is going to be like a constant storyline, if you know me and on my channel, I love bands with storylines. That, that tie together throughout the songs and create like a universe. I really, I really like that. So if this is like an ongoing thing, I'm definitely going to be following the girls. So let me know your thoughts below. What you think of the song, the style, the girls. Um, I'm going to have to listen to it a couple more times before I find a girl that maybe stands out. At the moment, I think it's probably Swan. There's something with her vocals. She's got a really nice colour to her voice. She stands out a lot, but I'm probably going to have to listen to it a few more times and watch some other videos on the girls to to find like a bias or maybe they all will be and i don't have one might be a nice change so thanks for watching like share subscribe do all that youtube jazz and i'll catch you guys in the next video bye